Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just need to laugh. Sometimes I just watch comedy, but sometimes I need a visual pick-me-up. Now, I love talking to a funny friend, but a funny prop can snap me into a whole different mindset so quickly. Anybody who knows me knows that I have funny stuff all over my house and funny stuff all over my office. I am definitely not a minimalist. (laughs) Sorry, guys. I know that's the trend, but I love funny things. So I want you to think hobby horse. (laughs) hobby horses just make me laugh. And the fact that I'm a grown up and I have a hobby horse right next to me where I could see it while I record these podcasts, it just cracks me up when I look at it. Yeah, I ride it. People come over to my office. They ride it. It's totally goofy, but it gives us a momentary break and we all act like kids. Now, another thing that I think is really funny comes from a Saturday Night Live skit, and that's a cowbell. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I have <laughs> I have a cowbell in this recording studio because cowbells make me laugh. How could you not laugh when you hear a cowbell? Well, maybe not if you're a cow, because maybe cows are like, why the heck do I have this cowbell on me? But (laughs) as an adult, I think they're hilarious. So I don't know what brings you joy visually, but I have many, many things that just make me smile all over this place. So I want you to start thinking of visual triggers that you can find either from your house or that you buy in a tchotchke store. Tchotchke, it's like a little, little tiny nothing thing, but makes you laugh. And I'm not, I'm not wishing that you become a pack rat or that you clutter up your space. I found that if I just brought a funny prop to the chemo room and I had it either hanging from my IV bag or I had it on my little tray, It just gave everybody a minute to laugh. They'd walk by and see it. Maybe it was a big old Pez container and it would just bring them back to their childhood or snap them out of the reality of where we were. And we'd all share a laugh or a story about the funny prop that I brought. So even if you decide to keep your funny props at home, funny props can snap you into a happier place at any moment. If you have funny props, take a picture and send it to me through comedycures.org and record a little message to me or write to me and tell me what your funny props are. I love them. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. If you loved today's episode, then tell the world. Why? Because... Beating Cancer Daily and our membership circle are both a listener and donor supported experience. So the more people you tell and the more people that join us, the more robust and interesting programs our nonprofit, the Comedy Cures Foundation, can bring to you throughout the year. I really want you to go to comedycures.org. And of course, I always want you to make a donation. It's tax deductible to the extent allowed by law. But what's super exciting is not only can you laugh and explore the comedy there, you can look at our membership levels and find the one that's great for you. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, gift one to a chemo brother or sister 
or to a caregiver that you just want to help them improve the quality of their day. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.